After months of silence, UT is back up and running, but it's up to students and employees to keep it that way. The real key is to try to identify those individuals that may not realize they're sick. Dr. Spencer Gregg is a part of the school's pandemic response plan. This is how it will work. Every day, students and employees will do a daily health screening through an app. Possible exposures, possible symptoms. If there's concern, they'll be asked to not come to campus and prompted to fill out a self-isolation form. Where were you last located on campus? How many days has it been since you were last here? That will notify the school's contact tracing team, providing further guidance. For the majority that will be cleared by the app, another system is in place. Just evidence of the virus in the wastewater. Wastewater testing of around 45 on-campus sites, including dorms and Greek housing. Prompts us to say, that's a facility we need to be concerned about. Even if a site tests positive, it doesn't mean there's an infection. That's where saliva testing comes into play. And it tells us that someone in that group, or maybe more than one in that group, may be infected. From there, the positive person will be notified. Dr. Gregg says the process isolates and quarantines positive or at-risk people long before test results come back. We're trying to get really out in front, trying to keep those individuals within those facilities safe and free from exposure. Reporting in Knoxville, Amelia Young.